good afternoon everybody hope you're having a beautiful day i wanted to do a video today more of an educational video on some myths like the title says and some pointers and tips for free and i feel like a lot of subliminal makers are not making with how how big the industry is becoming now i feel like we need to make more educational videos going deeper than just describing how subliminals work and most of those videos they don't know how subliminals work and it's very sad how people use a hot topic right like clickbait just to get people to come watch their videos and get attention when they don't fucking know what the fuck they're talking about and I'm, and I'm not saying this to brag guys I've studied energy or quantum physics is the science of energy and the mind or the science of the mind a lot of areas of psychology I was fucking 16 guys and I was already making a guy that had his BA in psychology look like a fool. By the time I got to college, we won't go there. And then after that, you know, fast forward, you know, about a decade later after college of self-studying from some of the most brilliant minds on the planet. I'm the one, I'm the one that's teaching some of the most brilliant minds on the planet. You know, our nonprofit, you know, I'm very grateful I get to work alongside, you know, governors and councilmen around the world that are not bought off politicians. And that this is where the industry's at now, guys. It's booming. And I really want to make this video, like I said, for, to educate you guys, to warn you, but also to give you some valuable pointers. And I have to go do my second workout today. You know, I've been working out my abs a lot lately, um, trying to get ready for summer. I've lost, I went from 25% body fat to about 10% body fat. You know, I was unhealthy. I'm trying to get back into shape, get my get my health back. But I also got six hours. I got to write my, you know, epic fantasy that I've been writing. I'm at 200,000 words. I got some subliminals I'm working on. This one just finished processing. And then I'm also working on an app, a, a, a video chatting app. I can't go into details because it's never been done before. And that's where we're at now, guys. We're making subliminals. We're, we're, we're at the point where we're forefronting. We're pioneering. Right, we're doing things with our subliminals that are more powerful and more creative and unique that's never been done before. And I'm very grateful to have all of you guys. And if you're new here, welcome. This is what we're about. We're, you know, and guys, the, the the plants and the all of life vibrates on 528 hertz. Anything that's alive vibrates on 528 hertz. The galaxy vibrates on 528 hertz. The rainbows vibrate on 528 hertz. And when they stuck. A device I don't have any I don't have anything solid around me when they stuck a device into the water right and they the scientists stuck a device vibrating right a frequency of 528 Hertz was let off into oil spilled oceans the following day sea life right biology in the biome or sea life was already returned back to normal the following day, this is the power of the vibration of love. This is why they call it the miracle frequency and the vibration of creation. And this is what the news owned by the Rockefellers or one criminal family will never tell you. In just four years, one billion people collectively have listened to the vibration of love frequency meditation on YouTube. One billion the health and wellness industry is a trillion dollar industry now, guys. I'm not going to go into all the good news or the truth, despite what this one criminal family wants you to think. But my point is this, guys. All of life vibrates on 528 hertz. And this is very important before I dive into the pointers and the tips, right, that I'm about to explain to you guys. And the, the first one I wanted to go into was physical subliminals, right? I, God, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about physical subliminals, and nobody's really dived into it because nobody understands what they're talking about you know and why did i bring up 528 hertz right it's very important to understand this guys because we are the highest form of creation in life there is we were born as a 400 trillion to one miracle and when you consciously awaken you're able consciously to tell your subconscious mind, the, the algorithms in your subconscious mind, you can reprogram them at will. And these algorithms, or guys, there's something called string theory. And basically what string theory is, not a theory, it's more of a conclusion, is they, scientists found 
computer coding. Computer coding in the DNA structures of life. And your 50,000 to 100,000 subconscious thoughts a day, some experts say 70,000. I say 50,000 to be safe because I don't want to mislead people. Your subconscious mind has 50,000 thoughts and it's our conscious thinking that tells our brain's neural pathways, physical neural pathways, what to do and where to go and what to grow. Our thoughts create the physical world in other terms. Our thoughts create our fucking brain. But you gotta consciously awaken and you do that by truly understanding and loving yourself from within as the 400 trillion and one miracle you are. But when you do that, you have your unique voice and your own desire to where you, you're, you could put whatever, you could, people, guys, subliminals are amazing right now. And I wanted to talk about that to kind of build up to the whole physical thing. And when er I'm grateful I studied the science of life, like Albert Einstein and Aristotle. Aristotle would hold up a seed, an acorn seed, and he would hold up the acorn seed, and no, this is not an acorn seed. But imagine with your imagination, he would hold up an acorn seed and ask his class, what do I have? And they would say, an acorn seed? And he would say, no, I have an acorn tree. Not a seed, because written in the acorn seed is the vibrational pattern, molecular structure that's programmed, right? Just like string conclusion, the, 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 the coding, the structure of the cellular, right? Is the vibration is then going to evolve that coding into a damn acorn tree. I don't got no acorn seed. And when you start day one listening to your subliminal, um, Day one, you got a seed. But when you give it emotion, right, emotions, you are giving your tree or your seed nutrients. And the repetition and consistency is very important. Are you going to water or nutrient a tree for one day and then just go throw that tree off in the corner and expect it to grow? It's going to be dead by day two or three. And I've been working out, like I said, guys, for diving into physical subliminals. You know, I started off 25% body fat. And this is for you know I'm not talking out of my ass. God, so many people talk out of their ass nowadays on YouTube. It's disgusting. But I started 25% body fat. I'm at about 12, 10%-ish now. And I'm not going to go below 10%. And my point is, when I started my ab workouts, week two, it took me two or three weeks of consistency. And I'm not going to bullshit you. I looked in the mirror the first couple days and I was like, fuck. Is this, is this going to work? And then I reminded myself, I am the highest form of life like you in creation. I have higher faculties than none of the other creatures have. I have the ability to think and reprogram my subconscious mind. I am a divine creator like you. I said, wait a moment. They will come. Because if I am consistent, just like the trees and the plants, it's 100% fucking guaranteed that us, just like the rest of life, it's going to happen. So I stuck with it, and I'm on month number one and a half now, 1.2, right? And I, I can see the results are just boom, 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 right? What's that fucking Pokemon called, the turtle? I can't remember. I was trying to use that as an example. But anyways, guys, here's another example. The rich get richer. And just like everything else in life, guys, it's how life works. If you're consistent and you give life value go watch my 15 minute video on value if you give life true value it's going to reward you back so when you consistently are putting in the actual time and work aka the value life's going to reward you back so guys don't listen to physical subliminals for a couple days and expect all of your mental algorithms to just reprogram themselves go ask a computer coder you know for all of you gamers out there right back in the day when i used to play wow with the top 10 pvpers in the world you know maldivia was one of the top guys i would pvp with i can't remember the other names that feels like lifetimes ago but anyways when they release a patch in a video game what do they do right you have to fill it out you have to get used to it right 
when you get an update on Facebook or something, it takes time to get used to it. You, you don't just... If it, for all of you guys that are listening to subliminals that are not physical, you still have to apply the new subliminals and coding in your subconscious to gain actual experience that's valuable. Right? You don't just buy a new bike and throw it in the corner. You don't just program your, 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 your paradigms. That's the, the, the def correct definition, paradigms. And just expect, oh, I'm, because I listened, to, you can't just listen to be more confident subliminals for 21 days or be a better public speaker for 21 days. By the way, I took one public speaking class and I'm already giving, because of subliminal speeches in front of hundreds and hundreds of people in foreign countries. But you, or self-love subliminals, right? Personal development subliminals. You can't just listen to those guys without actually going out and applying them. And when I started my journey, you know, years and years ago, like, I don't know when you guys started, but this is some, these are valuable pointers, guys. Like I said, years and years ago, I learned that I, I started, you know, 30 jobs back, guys, before I self-improved to the international business owner and nonprofit owner that I am an author of non-fiction fiction books that are successful. I, I, at the time, though, was working a very customer service-based job. And I learned that even though with all the subliminals for confidence and self-approval and acceptance, you know, and socializing, I still had to actually apply it, apply it, right? And physical subliminals are the same way. You have to, just like I just gave you the example, it's going to take two or three weeks for you to start to see minor results in the mirror, if any, depending on how deep it is. Guys, you can't change your eye color in just a couple of weeks. It's going to take months. People that listen to our Grow Taller subliminals, it took them two months just to grow two inches. And I say just, but that's pretty fucking amazing that in two months of consistently listening growing and nutriating their plants like you need to do, you need to, they grew to it two inches in two months, but it was consistent, consistent evolution, guys, and reprogramming those algorithms like you got to do. So if you have a major subliminal, like grow taller that involves your entire body or be a better basketball player or baseball player, swimmer, guys, it's going to take three weeks just to, completely reprogram your algorithms or to grow into a seedling and then you gotta god you gotta keep feeding that that bad boy and you gotta let it grow for months like i said it took me two or three weeks just to see my abs in the mirror and i was fucking guys i was working out three hours a day three hours a day guys more more information more pointers free information guys I've traveled the world I've played a father figure for four beautiful ch children and now you know thousands tens of thousands of people you know that's keep that's just growing rapidly and uh, through traveling the world and working my 30 jobs and meeting having not small talk but real talk with over a million people around the world I can tell you something and I went through the whole drug phase in college. And I went through the whole supplement phase afterwards. And too much of any good thing in life is a bad thing. Because your body, just like the rest of life, your body, just like the rest of life, you know, it, it can only consume so much of the good. It, it's only possible to consume so much before you're just killing yourself or you're doing more harm than good when you nutrient and water a plant it's going to grow faster but if you pour too much water the leaves are going to sag now dr i believe when a plant is dry it does this it does no no, no over watering i forget how it goes oh yeah underwatering and overwatering. people get them mixed up but anyways guys if you over water your plant what happens you kill it so Listening to subliminal messages more, it's a good thing, kind of, but you have to find the cutoff. And the cutoff, for me personally, has always been two hours, sometimes three hours. Don't go over three hours. You're going to cause more harm than good. More, 
guys, our our thoughts I just told you, right, guys, I don't want to teach you how to fucking, I don't want to sell you a fucking fish. And no, I'm not bipolar, guys. I get, I get, I get passionate about this. This is my life calling, guys. This is my life purpose, right? But guys, I don't want to sell you a fish. And this pisses me off too, guys. Sleazy snake salesman. Oh my god. If I could pass a law to ban sleazy snake salesman tactics, I would. But guys, I don't want to sell you a fish. I want to teach you how to fish. For you can go out and <laughs> teach the <laughs> feed the rest of the world. I don't believe in religion. Fuck religion, but Jesus before, you know, religion his mess before Jesus' message was polluted and taken over by greedy, you know, power hungry men. He was right. I will make you fisher men of men. I'm not going to. You guys already know how to fish. You already know how to fish, Judith. Judith. Before you stab me in the back. But I want to make you fishermen of men. Guys, like I just told you, your, your, your brain, your subconscious has 50 to 100,000 thoughts a day. You can pull up your laptop and you can pull up multiple tabs. And a lot of you creative people are, oh man, you are getting excited, right? There's my funky hat here. But a lot of you creative people are getting excited. But you can open one, more, you can open more than one tab on your laptop, and it's not gonna, it's gonna work. Don't underestimate the power of your mind, guys. Fifty to a hundred thousand thoughts a day, and no, m more voices is not gonna speed up the results. Like I just said, more is not always better. I only put two, a female, I put a female and a male voice in my subliminals. And I know people have been asking me to teach them how to make subliminals, but I don't have the time, guys, to record a 72-hour a course. I'm sorry, I don't. This, it gets really deep. But anyways, without diving into another 30-minute video, I record a female and a male voice, and two is enough. I don't do any more, because more is not always better. And guys, you can have as many tabs as you want open. And this is where the more is not always better thing, I'm going to warn you. You're going to get tired quick. You think math problems are hard to solve? Pull up fucking 12 subliminal tabs at once. Okay, don't, don't, I don't mean literally, guys. <laughs> don't, don't kamikaze on me, okay? But guys, 12 tabs is... Or you can open as many tabs as you want, right? And it's not going... It's going to wear you out pretty quick, right? Now, like I said, don't try to open up 12 tabs of the same subliminal. It's not going to speed up your results. And just be ready, guys. If you're not used to, you know, mental activity or, you know, doing homework or you're not used to, you know, gaming or you're not used to, you know, working on a computer, it's going to drain your you out really quick. And another pointer, guys... You already, I, I covered physical subliminals, I covered tabs, is headphones. I get asked this question all the time about headphones, headphones, headphones. Guys, n now that I taught you why, you understand now why people, it's complete bullshit when people say you have to pick up the frequency of the subliminal. Our thoughts create the neural pathways. Our thoughts tell our, reprogram our mind and our thoughts are what create the frequency. Now you understand now why those people have no idea what the fuck they're talking about and are just trying to get attention, right? Another snake salesman. But, so you have to hear the subliminal message, right? You actually have to hear the voice. And this is why if you're just playing it through your phone, if, if your roommate or your significant other is listening or watching Netflix or, you know, playing their music, you, the chances of you hearing that message is pretty fucking slim. Now, what am I doing right now? This, you guys, if you have one headphone in, if you have one, I'm laughing because this is going to get a lot of you guys, the juices in your brain turning or the light bulb turn, turned on. If you have one headphone in, you can still hear. You don't need two. Right? I just told you what the point is or why we do the headphones. You only need one in now, right? To achieve your objective. The possibilities are endless. You can work out now while listening to subliminals. You can, if you're a truck driver, drive your truck. If you're at work, that's not customer service based. You can still hear everything else with your other ear. If you want to game, if you want to, if you're, if you're in the creative field, you want to program. If you want to watch, you know, a TV show, one headphone in, one out. Subliminals still work.
and guess what? Now you can fucking... I mean, I, me, myself, I, I you know, I, I got so much shit I'm working on right now, guys. But for you younger people, you know, if, if you want to game a little bit at night, hey, at least you can know that you're still building, right? You're still got one headphone in and you're still helping yourself, right? And play devil's advocate there. Now, guys, another, another thing I get asked all the time outside of physical subliminals and the other pointers and tips I just gave you. What's another one? What's another really popular one? water guys I need water myself I, this is my third take of this video I'm trying to make it shorter but it just keeps coming out long either way I gotta get back to work uh, shit but guys water is very important guys I don't need to explain I hope I hope most of you guys understand why water is very important for our brains or the instrument or faithful servant that's working for our consciousness guys Take care of your worker. Your brain's your worker of your consciousness. If you're going to listen to subliminals that you desire to have, take care of the fucking worker. Nutriate that bad boy. Take care of the plant. Right? Drink as much water as you can. I'm sure we, our grandma told us when we were all little, right? If your pee is yellow, then you are dehydrated. Don't ever let your pee turn yellow, guys, when you're listening to subliminal messages. And I know a lot of you immature people probably are laughing at that. Another point I want to give you guys, and before I dive into this metaphor, I don't know how else to explain this. And I, I'm not disrespecting any females listening to this video. You know, I played a father figure role for a teenage daughter, and I have, you know, a little eight-year-old niece that means the world to me. But, guys, if you are a hard sleeper, listen to subliminal messages when you're asleep. And the reason why is when you are asleep... Your subconscious mind is way more receptive. And like I said, I don't know how else to say this, but the legs of your subconscious are just wide open. Right? The, the, fine, okay? The, the doors to the gold mine or whatever. Your, the legs of your subconscious mind are wide fucking open. Okay? So when you are asleep, your, your subconscious is just... In such a relaxed and receptive state. And the reason why, right, for you know, I'm not talking out of my ass, is your conscious mind is shut off, right? Your your thinking mind and your conscious mind is not there to say, this guy is just wanting to fill his pockets. This free car, free fucking car, yeah, right, right, or corona propaganda that was created by the Rockefellers that are mastermind criminals, bullshit, I'm not going to put that in my mind, right? Your conscious mind is shut off. And... When you're asleep, so, and I'm proud of a lot of you guys, you're already doing that, you already know that, that's pretty impressive, that's great, but, guys, coffee and sugar is more strong than fucking cocaine, it's ridiculous what they get away with, right, so when you are asleep, you're in this natural, receptive, relaxed vibration, why I don't drink coffee, you're more creative, you're more receptive, and this is why you breathe. Guys, if you can consciously breathe, you can do way more than even what Wim Hof does, the ice man running around in the snow. You can do way more than that if you can just consciously breathe, right? I mean, obviously, that's his, what he likes to do, and I respect that. No disrespect. But, I mean, you, have, you can do so much more, so many more things that you want to do if you can just consciously breathe. I know we all don't want to run in the fucking snow, you know, in our underwear, even though it does sound exhilarating sometimes, you know, with all the work that I got going on. But, guys... Breathe. The more you breathe, the more relaxed and receptive your subconscious mind is. Breathe. I don't know how else to say this, but breathe through your private parts. Breathe from your feet, excuse me, all the way through your private parts, up to your stomach, through your solar plexus, through your throat, and out. Transmutate that energy. A lot of you guys who are a little more on the spiritual side of things, and this is not hippie bullshit, guys. They have a frequency and a hertz for every single one of the chakras. And they have so many good scientific studies now backing up all of those chakras. But guys, when you breathe in through your feet, right, carbon dioxide or the ground absorbs heat. I've met people that walk around barefoot because they like to absorb that energy through the ground. And I don't blame them why, right? It's scientifically proven. It's not just, when they say energy, like I said, physics and science backs that up. But anyways, guys, breathe in from your feet when you listen to subliminals. All the way, if, if you can't listen while you're asleep. I'm a light sleeper. I still have a lot of PTSD from 
all the crazy shit that went, went on from my childhood up until, you know, my early 20s. But, guys, if, if you can't listen to subliminals, like I said, breathe from your feet, guys. You are opening the legs, right, to your subconscious mind when you breathe more and more the deeper you breathe. And when you're asleep, they're wide open. Like I said, guys, I don't know how else to say that. And these are my pointers. I don't really have any more pointers or questions that I've been getting lately besides the headphones, the phys physical subliminals that we went over, all of the other pointers, breathing. And, guys, I talk about it in my video, and like I said, it, for all the ladies, this actually applies to you, too. Guys, you have... To, my video on semen retention, without going on for 15 minutes, this video is... My last pointer, guys, and this is going to be real talk, you know, from the heart, and I hope we're all mature. I hope we all know how the birds and the bees work. I remember in sixth grade, you know, my Mr. Underwood was my PE coach's name in sixth grade. First sex education class, he walks in there and he goes, how many of you guys have small penises? And all the little sixth grade boys go, hee hee he said penis. But guys, when you truly understand and love yourself, right? And this is when, you know, you, some say you become a real man, you become a real woman, you, you truly understand and love yourself for the 400 trillion to one miracle you are. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 50,000 more people that could be doing what I do as an Olympic gold medalist, but better. So when you embrace the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are, Kobe Bryant said, I'm not going to be the next fucking LeBron James, I'm going to be... The next Kobe Bryant, when you discovered the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are and you love and understand, because understand is love, understanding in the mind is the vibration of love, ignorance is fear, which the Rockefellers love to use, but anyways guys, when you love yourself from within, had a backtrack there mentally, but when you love yourself from within, Right, guys, and you discover yourself, you want to keep growing, right? You want to keep improving and growing and evolving, just like all of life, right? Because you love yourself, and you want to keep giving to life because you love yourself. You don't want to use life and take to fill your insecurity. You're fulfilled now because you love yourself, and when you truly understand and love yourself, you stop jerking off, right? You stop just fucking, you know, every night or, you know, every night, or every week, or until you're ready to create a child. And guys, this is called our creative chakra for a reason. This is males and females. It holds your creative energy. And the more, like I said in my video on semen retention, for males and females, the longer you go without ejaculating, the more life force and energy that you're building up. It's called our creative power for a reason and the more life force you have the more powerful the subliminals become and a lot of you guys are like <laughs> okay you had me the first 25 minutes now you're going down the hippie drain guys string or not string theory but string conclusion guys the coding in our dna is written in our semen scientists don't deny that it's not hippie bullshit Right? This is scientifically proven like everything else I've been talking about. It's a very powerful. Guys, everything I've been teaching you guys and that we have access to now, like I said, has been used by the Rockefellers. Trillionaires. Trillionaires. This is, there's a, they don't teach you this in college because they own the colleges and they want to drip you dry, including your fucking semen or your eggs. Well, they can't really <laughs> withdraw your eggs. But, guys, they want to drip you dry. Of course they don't teach you this in school. They're using it to be the fucking 1%. I work with the 1%. Guys, like I said, this is all of who you are emotionally. There's a reason your creative chakra is tied to your deepest emotions. It's all of who you are, like I said. And the more you reprogram these mental algorithms and your DNA and your you know inner, if it's either inner subliminals or outer subliminals, you bet you your your creative and your or your life force is evolving too. And I just smiled because the light bulbs in a lot of your heads just went off. And of course, you know the porn industry and all of those industries that are ran by a bunch of you know whores and worthless rats. They they want to fucking drip you dry. 
And I don't want to go on to another semen retention videos, guys, but that's a really advanced pointer, guys, for all of you guys. Love yourself. Go watch my video on self-love. There's probably a million videos on YouTube about self-love. Discover yourself from within. It's the one thing I wish my first mentors had taught me when there was only four people on YouTube at the time teaching, not 4,000 or 40,000 self-help gurus. I really wish they had told me that. And guys, four subliminals do not work. Go watch my video on it. And I just told you why. The last 30 minutes, if you've been listening and actually following along, you understand why it denies the nature of life. If I've, like I said, I studied the science of life like Albert Einstein, Aristotle, and many other of the most powerful people that have ever lived. Nikola, Nikola Tesla. I mean, the power, guys, power is not always money. Don't forever forget that. Power is not always money. You know, Zuckerberg donated all of his money after he had his first daughter, 99.999% of his funds. 99.9. But you got to be accurate in your information. If you're just off a little bit, you're still telling a lie. I live by that philosophy, right? There's no lukewarm. But guys... Zuckerberg, like I said, guys, power is not always money. And guys, science of life, guys, if you try to use force subliminals or control, that is the opposite of the vibration of love that is still growing this planet to this very day, right? And you and I are the highest forms of life. We are the, we are the keepers of life. When we have these higher faculties, imagination, perception, will, and an intuition... And the ability to reprogram our subconscious minds and consciously think, right? We are all born with free will or free thinking, right? That's what consciousness is. Of course, religion doesn't want you to know that. You're a bad guy for thinking. But guys, if you are trying to force something or control something, that is the opposite of the nature of life or the character or the laws, excuse me, of the 12 universal laws. It denies the, the laws of this universe. Like I said, guys, love is vibrating through all of this planet. If you want to be a fool, and a lot of you guys have to learn the hard way, to be a fool and try to deny the nature of life, try to force and control your results. But if, like I said, if you, like, like I've said earlier in this entire video, guys, if you are not consistently, consistently building and nutriating and growing that plant, you try to cheat and cut the corners, you don't have any roots. <laughs> Right? Like the, like the Christian song says, and I'm not religious, but before the message was adulterated, the message of love that Jesus really preached, like all the other prophets, like Buddha, you cannot deny it, guys. If you don't have any roots and you try to cut corners and cheat, you may win in the short term, but the long run you're going to be exposed. And your mind's going to be like, wait a moment. Where did this paradigm come from? Why is this here? We never allowed or grew this. What the fuck's going on? Get out of here. And there go all your results. Just like when you cheat, you start back at square one. You may go on for a couple months. You may think you're so fucking brilliant, but you don't see a lot of old criminals walking around for a reason. And the reason is... And then, when guys, when you go back to square one, it's like, what was I doing? I could have been spending those years actually consistently building value and consistently actually putting in the time right to gain knowledge and information like this that's truthful and credible and tested to actually put in the time and build my character through subliminals personal development subliminal build my character actually perfect my talents and my gifts like the olympic gold medalist said I listen to just too many subliminals. But guys, don't use force subliminals. I just told you why. That's another 15-minute video. And two, guys, one very popular trend I see. And common sense, unfortunately, is not common anymore. And a lot of you guys, I'm very grateful. You believe you're listening to subliminal messages already. So most of you guys have some degree of common sense. But guys, if they're not posting the benefits, the benefits in their de the, the description of their video, or they're not willing to share with you, don't listen! <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just insanity. Why are you just going to blindly put something in your subconscious?
subconscious mind, you think eating something blindly or sleep one night stand when, you know, maybe you were younger was bad? Holy shit, guys. This is your, this is your subconscious paradigms that are creating your entire fucking reality that you live in. Don't just blindly trust somebody and just without them listing the benefits first. And if three guys, this is very deep wisdom. And I've traveled the world, guys. I've played a father figure for four kids directly, many more now indirectly. Easily a million people I've talked to around the world. Not just small talk either. And I, guys, you learn something. Okay, guys, if, they're, if these people are not willing to respond to your YouTube comments, it doesn't matter how busy they are. I just told you how busy I am. If they really want to help you because they actually love themselves and they have then, then they have true value to where they want to make life a better place, they're going to, fuck yeah, they're going to read your comments and respond or at least acknowledge it. If they don't love themselves, aka they have no value to provide you, they're probably cheating, they're not going to read your comment. They're going to think they're some fucking god or they're going to fucking be like, I don't got time for that shit. I only got time for me. Don't listen to their subliminals. Warning sign, warning sign. Red lights, red lights going off. Red lights flashing, right? That's another, another myth or warning sign. Another myth, guys, listening to subliminals for long periods of time is going to make your results speed up. No, 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 no. Very deep wisdom, guys. I'm going to talk to you like your great, 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 your great and a half grandmother or great and a half grandfather. Too much of a bad, too much of any good thing is a bad thing. And the reason why is you water a plant too much, what happens? You give a plant too many nutrients. What happens when you're you tr We have ourselves. We yes, we can evolve over time if you start off small and build up. But it, you cannot just dump a bucket of water into a fucking plant and expect it to absorb all of it. We are no different. We have our limits of where if you're eating or consuming a, even a healthy thing. You get to a point where you're just going to start poisoning your body because it can't even keep up with that good thing. Well, that's very deep wisdom, guys. So don't listen to subliminal messages more than three hours. Anything longer, and you're just killing, you're just going to hurt yourself, wear yourself out, burn yourself out. Don't do it. Three hours is the cutoff. Anything else after that is you're not, you're not, you're, you have to, you have to, like everybody else. Let the build up and the process continue. At one point, you got to sleep and let your subconscious mind work its magic. That even, I think even with, no matter how much science we have, I don't think we'll ever be able to completely dive into all of that for a long time. But you got to go to sleep at some point, guys. Let your subconscious mind reset. Let your memories reset. Let your new algorithms rewrite those memories and your, your visions. Because of the new person that you've become. And a lot of people don't understand what that means. And I don't have the time to describe that. But guys, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So no more than three hours. And if you're going to pull up 12 tabs, don't do it on day number one. I listen to eight subliminals at a time now. And it's been years. It's been years. And I'm not going to bullshit you. It wears me down while I do it typing my book. So start off with two or three guys. Don't just burn. Don't just jump into the off of the high dive the first day you're learning how to swim with no lifeguards around. Start off and build up. So yes, listening to subliminals all day is not going to speed up your results and hurt yourself. These are my pointers, guys. These are my excuse me. These are my warnings. Like I said, four subliminals, controlled subliminals. Stay away. Don't be a fool. And I know a lot of you guys, like my mentors that tried warning that headstrong, say Luke, you're not going to listen and you're still going to do it. You're going to learn the hard way. That's fine. Just like this video and run off and go learn the hard way. But for all of you more mature people, if you want to learn from somebody that knows what they're talking about, like I said, guys, I just told you why. It's the science and nature of life. It's the science of who we are. It's the opposite of love. 
it's kind of creepy. Why would the fuck do you want to control somebody else? That's creepy. But anyways, don't force and control subliminals. Don't listen to them. If they can't respond to your comments, or at least acknowledge your comments, you know where their intentions are at. You know why they're in it. And like I said, cheaters and selfish people, they have no value. If you have true value that you build through the vibration of love, through actually putting in the time to learn new information, gain new information, or test your hypothesis that nobody else has, ha nobody else has done, personal development, then you want to give that value to life out of love. That's the truth, guys. So if they can't acknowledge your comment, fuck them. Throw them in the trash where they belong, sleazy snake salesman. And three, guys, more is not always less. And like I said earlier, we said you don't need, I mean, you need your, well, at least one headphone in. And guys, you are now fisherman. You are now fisherwoman. There's a lot more we could go into, but this is already 40 minutes, guys. And a lot of you guys, like I said, have been asking me to make a subliminal course, but I don't have the 72 hours, guys. I'm sorry. I cannot teach how, but I've given you a lot of pointers for all of you users to where, you know, you are now fisherman, fisherwoman. I love all of you guys. I wish you the very best. I've got to go do my workout. I've got to start cooking my lunch. I've got to get back to keeping the wheels spinning for all of us or keeping the boat afloat so i wish you all the very best guys i love all of you and thank you for all the support i really do appreciate that guys i've met <laughs> i've met a lot of interesting characters and i don't i don't say that in a bad way i laugh because you know i love people's freaky i love people's uniqueness you know guys let your freaky out you know i love to see how i love i love falling in love with people's freaky or their weirdness right I met a lot of freak, a lot of interesting people, guys. I love all of you, and I'm thankful for your support. I wish you the very best.